so uh, we were discussing about the business to business collaboration solution implementation to implement so in this uh, so assuming that we have our trunks for the cucm to expressway c and uh, expressway C to the neighbor zone for express uh, CUCM, all that is already configured like we have seen. So these are the prerequisites first for business to business collaboration solution that would be required. Then additionally, we need to have uh, the dial plans for making calls outside to other networks. And for that, first we need to have traversal zones, traversal zone on Expressway C and Expressway E. So that's what we saw in the lab and how we can configure those. And then additionally, we need to have DNS zone on the Expressway E. So our network is this where we have a UCM, we have Expressway C, we have Expressway E, and we have, let's suppose, a customer with Expressway E and expressway C um, endpoint registered here. We want to make call from this source endpoint to this destination and vice versa. In other case, it will be source and this will be destination. So we have discussed both uh, outbound as well as inbound uh, business to business call configuration, which we can do on our part on our inside network. Same is on the other side by the other business. Then we need to have a DNS. It can be your internal DNS or a public DNS. So on expressways, uh, expressway C and E, we need to configure in this part traversal zones. So traversal client and traversal server zone here. Then we will first configure business to business calls for outgoing and business to business incoming calls. So for that, different search rules needs to be configured as part of the dial plan. And so that is what we have seen. As a prerequisite from CUCM, you need to have a trunk. The trunk from Expressway C, you need to have a neighbor zone. We need to have a transformed search rules, search rule on Expressway E. Yeah, that's what we have configured. So let's see if we can configure it here. It comes up in the lab. So uh, I was explaining that once we have all these configurations done, business to business, uh, outgoing as well as inbound calls, we have search rules, two search rules for outgoing and incoming calls. Same way search rules for outgoing and incoming calls will be there for which the targets will be in Expressway E. The target would be its uh, traversal server zone. On Expressway C, the target would be the CUCM, trunk to CUCM. Yeah, that is how the call will flow in case of inbound. In outbound, uh, CUCM will point to Expressway C, Expressway C will point to uh, Expressway E, Expressway E will then point to the DNS, the through the DNS zone. On the DNS, I was explaining that in the DNS, we need to have uh, a record and we need to have SRV record for our domains. So domains, we have our two. So we need to have our internal domain, CLL hyphen collab, not internal. And to make calls to another domain, let's suppose this one is CLL hyphen collab dot external. So we need to have that on the DNS, hyphen collab dot external. Then SRV records are the service records which we create uh, on the DNS as for the uh, services we need to have. So here as we need services like HT23 SIP. So HT23 SIP SRV records needs to be there. Uh, we can configure like UDP, TCP, SRV records. So specifically here in this case, what SRV records we would want for the DNS to work properly here. So what we do is we go to the DNS manager. There you find a forward lookup. 
forward lookup zone. When you uh, open it, expand it, you can find any domains if you have added. So let's suppose we have CLL hyphen lab dot internal and we have CLL hyphen lab dot external. Both must be there. If there is anyone not present, you will have to create one. You can just simply right click and on the forward lookup zone and create a new A record for the domain. Uh, that is what for A records is required for the domains. A record to create a domain. Right, so what you can do is just simply right click this forward lookup zone and add your domain. So if you have, let's suppose you want to add more domains, you can do it on your DNS this way. Right click, uh, add new zone, select A or AAA record from there, and you will need to add the information that you uh, want there. Then same way you'll need to configure an SRV record and in the SRV record, you can just simply again, same way right click on the forward lookup zone, select other, uh, records in other records, it gives you some options out of which you can choose the SRV record. And then in the SRV record, you have to choose your domain. So, for example, your internal one, you can do, uh, choose that or create a new one, uh, name it, give IP address, and so on for the resolution that you want. In the SRV records, which I was mentioning, in the other records that you find, you have to have this SRV record. In the SRV record, uh, you can just click create and we have to have some services enabled for these uh, calls to work as per our different protocols and different endpoints being used. So we need to have SIP SRV record. We need to have HD23. 323. We need to have uh, different types of SIP and HD23. Mainly in SIP, you need to enable TCP. So there will be a separate uh, SIP TCP record. There will be a SIP uh, UDP record. So this will be one. Then second SIP TCP would be, you can create like encrypted and unencrypted. We just uh, differentiate with the help of the port number 5061 encrypted and 5060 unencrypted. For UDP, you can create one uh, with 5060 unencrypted. Yeah. So these are the three different SIP, third one, SIP SRV records we uh, want to create and we should have. So any kind of communication, TCP, UDP, uh, encrypted or unencrypted SIP uh, will be uh, supported here. Then in HT23 also, we need to have UDP and TCP to SRV records. So these are all based on service, at least service records. UDP would be identified with the port 1719 and TCP 1720. Yeah, that's it. If you have all these, these are the things that you should consider while if, if in case uh, it's the calls are not working or anything. So we know what all configurations we'll have to troubleshoot and on, from the DNS perspective these are the things you should be verifying that you have the, these SRV records uh, these domains a record for domains and so on and that is it if you have all these configured fine you will be able to make business to business calls outside and calls uh, coming from outside to inside